Hello everyone, Evasion here and welcome back to another video. Today's video I wanted to talk about the early solo shuffle experience. I've recently just started playing the game more frequently again and I've leveled up two new rogues and all of them are actually playing subtlety. I usually play on my human rogue but I've decided to level a dark iron and of course a gnome. Uh, I really really like the gnome racial but I leveled the dark iron because it's actually practical with specs like assassination being quite powerful. So I have two games on my gnome rogue. The very first two shuffles I've played uh, I went 5-1 and one in the one round and 6-0 in the second. I'm going to try to tell you guys what I'm trying to do and things to look out for when you are trying to form kills as a subtlety rogue. I believe subtlety is a very, very insane spec in early solo shuffle. Once you get higher rated, people will know what to look for. And this is part of the reason I didn't just instantly queue my main. I was taking a, a break kind of from the game, still playing Wrath Lich King, and I was uh, playing Lost Ark a little bit on the side. But since, uh, since then, I've actually quit playing Lost Ark, and I still raid weekly on Wrath Lich King. But anyway... I was taking a break, so I haven't really queued my main. My MMR is somewhere in Africa. It does not match my CR on my rogue, on my human. Uh, so I've been having fun in the lower ranks, uh, sharking people that they don't deserve it. Anyway, let's hop into the clips. Please enjoy. All right, so in this first game, we have a Windwalker, a Disciplined Priest, a Marksman Hunter, a Havoc DH, and a Resto Druid. For the most part, when we're against the Windwalker, we're going to be looking to abuse him. And uh, when we are against this comp in the start here, this Hunter, DH, I'm pretty much going to be trying to follow around whatever the Windwalker thinks and try and form kills around where he's going to put his damage with Serenity. But after we get through some cooldowns, I get found at the start. I decide to do nothing. I'm just hoping this Priest will save me because we get really super far ahead if I don't press anything here. So we get swap right off the start and we get a little go in the DH. Put out some stuns there. We get the leg sweep onto the Windwalker, and I bomb his leg sweep. We do leg sweep into Kidney. We get every defensive here from these guys. Um, so right now, what I'm trying to do, the uh, rest of Druid actually trinketed before I could even finish my thought. But basically, we're waiting for the, the Hunter to come off stun DR here in five seconds, and all I got to do is vanish, Shadow Strike to the Druid here, kick clone. And then I put out a Kidney shot off the end of the lockout, and then I just step to the Hunter, dance, and then we kill him. That's a very easy round. We still have blind here. I could have blinded off kidney if this guy lived more than three seconds, but because all of the CDs were using the open or the opener, this is very low in war. So this is this is pretty much what you can do. You get people overreact. You wait for stun DRs to fall. You put out a kidney on the healer, and then you dance cheap shot or if your teammate has a stun, and you blow secret technique and your burst into the target. You get a kill. Round's over. Um, yeah, and then usually by round, you know, five or six, people are really angry at each other, but it's actually you causing all the havoc if you're playing sub. All right, so here we go, round two. We're with a demon hunter, and uh, this round's a little bit scuffed, uh, but uh, that's solo shuffle, and uh, it's always going to be scuffed, which is fine. It's just um, how can you scuff your way to a victory, which is fine. So we're going to go into the hunter here, and we're going to an early double stun, cheap shot, and a cheap shot, just so the uh, DH can do DH things, completely blast damage. We get Turtle Trinket out of there. I have my Dance up still, so I throw a Cheap Shot onto the Monk. The Monk is already karma too. And so we get his Trinket there. We have a nice Sigil of Misery into a Kidney Shot. And I'm forced to vanish here just to uh, stay a little healthy. Keep riding down the, uh, the, the Haunter here. Basically, when you're playing a lot of these comps as sub, it might be weird for you to do this kind of thing because normally you're more hit and run. But uh, if you got a thing, a, a comp where the teammate would normally cleave, you got to play the part of a cleave. You know, it's uh, I think it's normal to do this. A lot of people think like, oh, sub can't really do this right now. But with uh, the CDR from Vanish, uh, sub can very much play this style. Uh, given once you run out of cooldowns, you're screwed. But until that moment, uh, right here, we're cleaving. We get the bomb here just to stop any potential swift mens at the very end. And the guy gets rushed down. That's a win. There's not a whole lot to say there. One tip I'd like to throw out there too real quick is uh, Rupture actually is dealing a lot of damage. So while you're waiting for stun DRs or waiting to set up for another kill, having Rupture up on the target can add like a lot of damage over the course of a game, which really helps when you're forced into these like more cleave oriented kind of situations. Uh, so in this round here, we got the Hunter on our team this time. This is probably a game where I would look to go on the Windwalker. I always try to pop sprint and wait for the DH to actually use a mobility spell because usually you can fake him out on... Pillars. Uh, we got a nice cheap shot dance opener here onto the monk. 
Uh, I just do a little cheap shot. I missed the uh, read cheap shot for some reason there. And uh, he gets Karma off, which is okay. We got Karma and I believe Iron Bark out of the way. I throw a Kidney here onto the Druid. And I throw a little stun onto the DH. Right now, we just need to not die. We need to not die until stun DRs are gone. I almost die there. I used my second Vanish already. And the guy PSs me in stealth, which is scary. Should have saved this for the other guy. Probably didn't expect me to vanish out, though, because solo shuffle. It's fine. I get the uh, dance sap off of the blind. Druid has no trinket. And I don't have a dance up. But if I had dance up right here, I would cheap shot DR just to get rid of this uh, fist. I used those couple shuriken storm there. I'm trying to fish for a dance charge. The only thing I can do right now, I try to run to Africa. I'm taking advantage of the fact I have a marksman hunter on my team. So I run this guy to the complete opposite corner. I get the dance charge back. Cheap shot into cheap shot. It's too far away for the healer, and we're able to get off enough damage to get the kill. I was pretty screwed in this situation, but uh, we managed to get the kill. And so that's three rounds for us, and we're going into round four. All right, so out of all the rounds so far, this is probably the most scary as the rogue. If you get stunned with no trinket against Marksman Windwalker, you're going to die real fast. Um, right here, my favorite kill target is probably the Windwalker. But once again, since I'm with the DH, I kind of got to work around where he's putting his damage. Um, he starts on the priest, and there's I was going to go on that, but then the DH got CC'd, so that gives him an opportunity to actually switch his target. The monk goes for his burst, really predictable, so I just trinket evasion just to deal with that, um, just to stop any crazy damage from happening. I disarm the marksman hunter, and right now we're riding down the marksman hunter with our dance. Uh, we still have blades. We got the... Uh, the Hunter's looking like a pretty good kill target again. He gives up Turtle again pretty early. And right now, if there's Sundiars off the Monk in about 12 seconds, the Monk's looking pretty juicy. Get a Sap off of Blind again. Always try to Sap your Blinds if they're going to sit. Uh, Blizzard's going to try and take that away from us, but that's okay. We'll talk about that in another video probably. We are now looking for the kill attempt on... The Hunter. Why are we doing that? Because the DH has the tunnel vision goggles on and he is looking for that Hunter kill. He wants it. We, unfortunately, we got the health bar bug though, so I can't see the health of the Hunter unless I, you know, use the portrait on my screen. Regardless of this being still possible, it drives me insane and it's really hard to deal with in the moment. Wouldn't you just love to see what his health bar looked like? It's half full. So anyway, we're on the Hunter. Hunter's getting pretty low. We have stun DRs out on everybody, so I go for this little gouge. Hoping the gouge is going to be enough. I get the disarm on the Hunter. Alleviate some damage. We have a dance charge back, and stun DRs are gone in four seconds. We're going to be able to win the game in four seconds. I went for the dance cheap shot, but I got kind of screwed here. My dance charge gets whiffed, and I'm going to just go over here and, and hope that the DH... This round is a shit show. This round is a complete shit show. I can't even predict my own actions. It doesn't even matter. It literally doesn't even matter. This hunter's screwed. I'm just like spamming shuriken for mass call points. We're playing full cleave at this point. We don't give a shit. There's no CC going out on anybody. Help the DH get his win, man. That's it. All right, it's uh, it's round five here and we're reformed. We're totally reformed. We're cool after last game. It's fine. Uh, we have the Windwalker on our team, and uh, we're going to be looking for some crazy burst kills. We already showcased the uh, the Serenity Dance Burst in the first round. You can do some pretty hilarious stuff. Uh, I'm going to go for a early blind because the Priest got combat, so I can't get a sap. I'm going to go in here. They get the early swap from the Priest, so we do a nice little uh, half uh, stun here. We get a bash into a half kidney. We get darkness, and the Monk goes for the early Karmon Priest here. Normally, this would be a ride down the priest match. Uh, that's that's what it's looking like right now. This is a ride down the priest match. Because uh, the hunter's full gas and just gassed up this karma. This is pre-buff, uh, pre-hotfix buff karma. So, it's not as powerful as it could be. Uh, but there, there ain't no coming out of that. Alright, it's round six. And if you're still here, please like and subscribe. If you're enjoying the content, I greatly appreciate it. And uh, let's. Uh, everyone's warmed up in this round. I'm probably looking for a Windwalker kill here uh, because I haven't gotten one and it's kind of fun to cheese him. So let's see if we can get one. We get a nice trap and sap out in the game. We got a sap on the priest. Trap onto the DH, which is pretty good. And we get a burst onto the monk here when he's in a bad spot. 
I just blow the early evasion here just to stay healthy. Kind of a waste because the monk didn't actually burst me. Hunter's popping off on the priest. So I thought maybe it could be a priest kill here. We get a pain suppression onto the priest. And this kind of sets up our kill. I get a peel here. I, I had to cheap shot the DH. And uh, in hindsight, I probably should have just uh, went with my stun there onto the monk right there. Uh, the monk. Look at this monk right here. We got the trap out on the DH. We got the clone on the priest. We got the cheap shot bomb. The kidney bomb rather. Huge go. The, the clone swapped onto the DH. It looks like an actual arena match. And he goes down for the 6-0. It was pretty good. This warrior, shaman, rogue, DK, marksman, hunter, and rest of druid lobby. I kind of just want to show some highlights of things that happened. I start the early blind here and I'm going to sap my blind. Like I say, if they sit blind, you try to sap it. The druid goes for trinkets, so I put out a full kidney shot and I go for an early solo burst to try and force some stuff here. Uh, had I bursted the uh, DK, I might have been able to just kill him. Uh, but that's okay. We get a lot of cooldowns forced to this guy. We get Trank. We have all the DK's cooldowns. We got the Druid's Trinket. Um, a lot of these targets can end up being kill targets. The Warrior is just on the Hunter. So we're going to try and support the Warrior the best we know how to. Uh, by adding damage when he's doing damage. And um, trying to put crowd control onto the Druid when we can. I use Duel while I'm waiting for Kidney Shot's DR to fall. And then I put a full kidney shot off of the end of duel. And that's going to set me up for a sap here off the end of my dance. I get a nice little sap here onto the druid. Uh, managed to beat that guy to get back in combat. And off here, I try to throw a, a, a smoke bomb right as sap ends. Hoping that the warrior could press like an execute or something to end the round. Um, probably a little bit more wise to wait for the, the stun to be on the hunter to actually throw that uh, bomb. But it was kind of like one of those situations... Uh, you can steal a lot of rounds if you catch globals like this, where bomb would have been useful for one global. Um, just didn't happen there, which is fine. We have Claw Smash up here, and I go for the burst. I just put out a Shadow Strike, Eviscerate, Shadow Strike, Secret Technique, and that's going to add enough damage. Sometimes you just got to go. You got to push the pressure when the pressure's there. Don't worry about the perfect go, and uh, you'll steal rounds. A lot of stuff that I'm micromanaging in my head that I can't really sit here and explain when I'm going through 12 rounds. Um, so what I might do in some future videos is I might do a solo shuffle and I'll try to pick a specific concept of something I'm thinking about instead of a general commentary. If you guys enjoy these general commentaries though, I will definitely do more. I do, I do enjoy making commentaries because not only does it help me improve, I catch myself making, uh, mistakes that might not appear obvious. I might not even mention them necessarily in the commentary because there's so many things that could be talked about, uh, but it helps me improve overall. For instance, this druid completely embarrassed me with this tranquility. Tranquility, my blind. Pretty good play. Pretty good play. It's definitely a good thing to do if you're trying to improve. You can record your gameplay and watch back your gameplay. It's pretty helpful. Um, I go for the little cheesy dual kill here on the warrior, but uh, he's got too many hots. This rogue is a little too undergeared to get the kill in that situation. Fast forward two minutes and we got duel back again. We forced die by the sword and I was forced to blind the DK just to stay in this game way earlier. We have gouge, get duel off of this. I'm just gonna use kitty shot. The warrior's so low. Hopefully we can just finish this guy off. We get the damage. Resto Shaman comes in clutch with that big burst. Round four with the warrior, train the blue. TLDR, blue dies. Next round, uh. We open up hard on Hunter. Uh, nothing happens. He dies. And final round. Uh, my teammates are no longer friends. They quit the friendship club. And they uh, they leave me to lose the round. So that sucks. But that's okay. Anyway. This is a long video. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Please be sure to like the video if you enjoyed it. If you want to see more, talk to me in the comments. What have you guys been up to? I haven't heard from you in a while. We're going to be making more content soon. This was a, a kind of a nice video to get back into the swing of things of editing stuff. Uh, lots is happening. I think today as of, well, one of the days of this week, it might have already happened. Uh, Blizzard released some posts about they want to do some drastic changes to PvP. Um, they look like bad changes. However, if they do a lot to the game, they could be fine. But uh, I feel like they don't have a clear direction of where they want to take the game. 
And I could talk about this more in a future video, but uh, that's all for now. Please like, comment, subscribe for more. It's probably like the fourth time I've asked for likes, so you might as well just hit the button. And we'll see you in the next video. Peace. We stole the game!